everyone, so today's video is very exciting for me because I want to say it was two weeks ago now that Raw Beauty Christie did a video trying out the Moxie Lash Magnetic Lashes. So I ended up getting some because she loved them, so that means I gotta love them too, right? <laughs> So we're gonna be trying these out today. So I got the magnetic eyeliner. I got the one in a pot instead of the one that comes in like a tube with a uh, brush tip applicator. It's not a brush tip. It's like one of those like long kind of, you know what I mean? Like the ink ones. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't like those kind of applicators. So I ended up getting the pot one, uh, the gel one. Man, I am not very good at explaining things today, but we're gonna be trying out these lashes. So the ones that I ended up getting were the flashy lashes. They had three different ones, but I figured if I'm going to get lashes, like I want them to be pretty intense since I never really wear lashes. Like what's the point in wearing lashes if you can't see them, you know? So these one retails for $35 to lashes and it does say that you can reuse them over and over and over and over again, because obviously you're not going to be putting any glue on top of the lashes. So shouldn't be a problem to reuse these. Obviously they are expensive. Uh, the magnetic eyeliner costs $32 to gel one and the liquid eyeliner costs $45. So I mean, the pot one is definitely cheaper if you were wanting to go that route. So I think we should uh, try these on now. Now I don't really have any information on how to do this, but I figure it can't be that hard, right? You put on this and then you put on these. <laughs> I mean, what else can you really do? So the thing is that when I bought this, I was planning on using this on top of my regular eyeliner. So I don't know if in my first impression, I want to use this on its own. I think I do want to do that, at least on one eye and just kind of see what the texture is like, how it performs, if it transfers, how long it takes to dry and stuff like that. So I'm going to use an eyeliner pencil and then I'm gonna put on some eyeliner. So first impression, dipping my brush into this pomade or this uh, liner, it feels very much like a regular liner, maybe a little bit thicker. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put on quite a thick layer, so I'm going to put this on. I'm not going to talk while I do this, but I'll try to zoom you guys in so you can see how the application is going. So it's definitely not as smooth as like a regular gel liner. It's a little bit thicker in consistency, but it's not at all hard to work with. I don't know if I would want to do a wing with this though because I feel like it could get messy real fast. So I'm just going to keep it to a line, I think, this time. Obviously, you don't have to do it as thick as I did it, probably, but I want to make sure that, at least the first time, that I have enough down that I can really see like how this works. The more I am playing with this, the more I realize that I would not use this to make a wing with, especially on my hooded eyes, because it's hard enough with something that is liquid and easier to work with because I do have a lot of folds and stuff out here and this is really like dragging on my eyelids so I can't imagine this being good for doing wings with if you do have hooded eyes, it might be a little bit hard. And you're gonna want to use a pretty stiff brush to be applying this with, it just seems to be easier that way. So I'm hoping this is going to be good enough, I would think so, I'm going to wipe off my brush and just try to get it clean. And I think you're supposed to wait for this to like fully dry down, so I'm going to just leave this alone for a little bit. I'm gonna go on my phone for like five minutes and then I'll come back and we can try to put on these lashes. I am so excited. I just hope that they fit my eyes because I have pretty small eyes, so I'm just praying that they're not going to be like too long because obviously you can't trim them because then you'll be trimming off some of the magnetic parts. So I'll be right back and we can try putting on these lashes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the eyeliner is dry and it also did not transfer, which is great as far as I can see anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these lashes out of the box. So here's what they come like in a little plastic container and there's a magnetic strip like on the uh, plastic thing here so that the lashes will stick to it. So I'm just going to rip that off and I will show you a close up of this and I hope you can see, yeah, there you can see it. So it comes with like five or six dots where the magnets on the lashes are. So obviously this is going to be the left lash, I am assuming. I mean, I would think so. So am I supposed to just use my fingers? Now I need to say, if you're new to my channel, I never wear lashes. I don't even know how to put on regular lashes. So this is like a first for both of us. I mean, I have tried putting on regular lashes, but I just, I suck at it. So <laughs> I'm like, should I use my finger here or should I use a tweezer? I don't think I want to use a tweezer because I don't want to risk like ruining them by pinching them too much. So let me just see if I'm able to put these on. Oh, that is such a weird feeling. 
Well, I mean, that lash is on, I think. No, I like that you, you just kind of lift it up and replace it if you're not happy with the placement. I mean, that's honestly kind of cool. I definitely misplaced it because I put it in too far, so let me try this again. I do feel like it's going to take a couple of tries and just like practicing with these, just like it would regular lashes to get them on like exactly where you want them to be. But I think they look really nice, like that is so weird to see myself with lashes, but I quite like them. I don't think that I'm getting them on correctly though, because they're just a little bit uncomfortable. I feel like I need to place them a little bit better. I do feel like they are possibly a little bit too long for me, or maybe I do need to pull them in more on this side. Let me just try the other one and see how that goes. I mean, they are extremely easy to put on, and I feel like you can't really mess it up because the magnet just kind of grabs onto it and does its thing, you know? So I do feel like maybe these lashes are just a little bit too big for my eyes. I'm not really sure. I'm just not used to how lashes like feel on my eyes, so I feel like that's something I need to get used to because I can like feel the hair on my lash like poking me on my nose but I do like the look of these I actually think that looks quite cool so I was going to do a wear test but I don't know how comfortable these are actually going to be to wear for a long period of time because like I said they just feel a little bit too long for my eyes but yeah you know what I'm going to wear these for a while maybe I'll get used to it maybe I need to just like trim a little bit of the hairs just like in the inner corner here so they don't hit my face because that's kind of weird and a little bit uncomfortable so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check in with you guys in however many hours I end up wearing these I am going to the store so I don't know if maybe I'm gonna have to take them off if I'm wearing sunglasses because that could be a problem but I'm gonna finish up the rest of my eyes, do a little bit of eyeshadow, not much. I'm just going to pop a little bit in my inner corner, do some mascara on my lower lash line, and something in my waterline and stuff like that. And then, wait, should I have put on mascara before putting these on? Oh, maybe I should have done that. You know what, I'm not gonna do that because this is, it's, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this is all I'm going to do with my eyes. Just kept it very simple, put a little bit of blue in my inner corner, some yellow in my waterline, and that was it. So I will check in with you guys whenever I plan on taking these off. I will let you know when that is, so I will see you then. Okay, so I'm back. It has not been very long. It's been like an hour. I filmed another video, and I keep noticing that the outer part of my lash here is just not sticking because the lash itself is too long to actually have like a magnetic line out here to be able to hang on to because my eye is just not that long so I'm kind of tempted to take this off and actually trim off like the last magnet here I feel like it's maybe a risk but I just I, I I'm not going to be able to wear these the way that they are so I might as well just do it and see if it works you know so let me show you the lash up close here I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this but basically I need to cut off like the last part of the magnet here that's going all the way in here. So I'm gonna do that I think and just kind of see what happens because you know I, I want to be able to wear these otherwise I'm just gonna buy some other magnetic lashes that are a bit shorter or like half lashes. So I'm just going to, I hope this is going to work otherwise I'm gonna feel really bad about this. But I'm going to snip uh, like right here. Oh, this could be a really bad idea. Oh, that was easy. Well, that came right off. I'm gonna try to put this back on now and see how I feel about this. Where did my mirror go? My mirror just disappeared. That was very strange. Probably because I wasn't using it in my other video. I'm gonna use my pink one. So I'm gonna pop this back on. Wait, that's definitely the wrong way. <laughs> wow, that was, a, that was a fail. It does help to put your lashes on the right way. I hope I trimmed the right part of it. I think I did. Oh wow, that made such a difference. I feel like now I can almost like not put them all the way on my inner corner and put them more like on the outer part here. 
I feel like I maybe didn't put on enough eyeliner on this side. It almost feels like it's fading a little bit or maybe that it's sticking to my lashes instead because the magnet didn't seem as strong this time as the first time I put it on but wow that makes such a difference in like how comfortable these are to wear so I'm honestly just gonna do the same thing on this eye and just trim off the last part of this lash and then pop this back on yeah it definitely seems like it's taken off some of the liner or like the liner is sticking to the lashes because they're not as magnetic the second time around so I'm probably gonna have to not wash them but kind of just take off whatever magnet is on my lashes after I'm done wearing these but I mean I hope they still look good I feel like they still look okay like I feel like I didn't really ruin them at all I feel like they still look great so I think that is actually the way to go for me but I still would like to know if anybody knows anywhere or any brand that sell shorter lashes not shorter in like this sense but this sense so let me know down below if you know of any brands that sell shorter lashes but I definitely see myself wearing these a lot more now these are so much more comfortable oh my god than like when I first tried them full I have very small eyes I need to preface that so many times I have extremely small eyes I have a small head I have a small face so <laughs> every feature on my face is like pretty small so I'm sure if you have normal sized eyes, these lashes are going to be perfect for you because they were just a little bit too long. But I mean, they are made for like the average person's eyes and I am not average. So that kind of explains a lot. So I'm going to keep wearing these for a while now. I will say that the liner kind of transferred a little bit up into my crease here, which if you don't have hooded eyes, that's probably not a problem. And I don't think it will be a problem if I wear eyeshadow because you won't be able to see it. It's just when I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I can see it very clearly. So I will be back. It's been probably like an hour now that I've worn these. I'm probably going to walk to the store, see how that goes. I mean, it's hella hot out. So, and I'm probably going to need to wear sunglasses. Not sure if I'll be able to wear sunglasses with these lashes. If not, I'm just not going to wear sunglasses. But I'll be back tonight at some point and keep you updated on this. And then I will, yeah, I'll just talk to you soon. Okay, so I am back. I've just been editing this video. I was out for a while. It's probably like five hours later now, I want to say. And I've noticed that my lashes are starting to lift off and they're not really sticking very well to my eye anymore. And I realized when I was editing the video that I've been taking off my lashes so many times during this. And I'm not really surprised that the magnet isn't as strong anymore. So I'm sure if I were to put these on like on a fresh eyeliner and just not touch them and not put them on and off like four times that this wouldn't happen. So this is just my first impression and I'm actually really excited to keep trying these because I like wearing them. I think that they are fun. I think that they're going to look so good with a lot of eyeshadow looks that I want to do and I want to keep wearing them. So. I guess that's going to be my first impression. I mean, obviously you guys will see these lashes again if you are subscribed to my channel. So I'm just going to keep you updated that way. So I just want to mention that, yeah, if you're going to wear these, you're probably not going to want to uh, fuss with them too much after you take them off because you can probably see now on my eye that the eyeliner is extremely faded compared to what it was when I first put it on. So just something to keep in mind. I'm going to try to wash these now, I think, before I put them back into there place so this eye seems to be sticking a lot better for whatever reason but yeah that's going to I think sum up this video to conclude I think that these are super cool and I'm really excited to have them I'm excited to play more with them I'm excited to keep looking around for other magnetic lashes that I can use with this eyeliner if that exists if it does let me know I would love to know so yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one bye